Retro Unboxing. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, firstly, I would like to just do a quick update. Uh, I've been having a bit of a play with this and I can happily confirm, although I will do a separate video very shortly, but it, it, it works perfectly. I literally just left it in, there you go, uh, I left it in some rice for a day or two in a warm, warm dry room and it works. So as I say, I'm going to do this in a separate video and that will come up in the next week or so. What this video is about is another Nintendo product and it probably came up on one of my searches because it uh, I've been I've been looking at Nintendo Game Boys etc etc so Amazon were kind enough to say hello Jonathan uh, there is a new Nintendo product in town that isn't seven million pounds or a switch or uh, whatever it's a brand new console it's a brand new thing and um, would you like to buy one and pre-order one uh, and it's about 50 quid so I looked at it and said "Ooh, yes yes please send me one of those so it arrived last Sunday uh, and I have not um, I've not looked at it yet so I'm going to do the unboxing here and uh, I'm just going to crack straight on with it so the first thing we're going to do is just rip the little Amazon thing Get that off there, and there it is. The game and watch. And the first thing I notice is that they've been kind enough to put it in this little acetate uh, kind of display box. I think probably because they know that most people, you know, they're not. This is just a display piece, isn't it? Let's face it. Um, who, who's going to be actually using it when you can be on your mobile or uh, on your switch or, or whatever so that's pretty cool thanks Nintendo um, now just to uh, to put you in the picture and I know I've mentioned this before I'm 40 years old I know I don't look it um, but every time I try and think what was my first games console well the Nintendo the Game Boy was my first console Oh, the Commodore 64 was my first game system, you know, or the Master System or or whatever. And then you actually forget that there was there were these original Game On Watch. These came well before any actual console where you could change the game. Um, so these were actually the first the first gaming device that I would have owned. So yeah, let's uh, let's get this bit of a, a peel off the side here. Actually, I think I'm going to cut that because it looks like I'll start pulling the peel off. So I think I'm just going to just going to slice. I've not got my huge knife with me, I'm afraid. So scissors, it is. I didn't think a a huge knife would be suitable for this. Uh, oh, oh, no! All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel. Ah, oh, that's worked out nicely. I'll just stick that onto the back over there, and then the same that side. But I can just push it out now. So what they've done is clever. I mean, this basically, what, what they've done here is, with this acetate, is exactly how an old Game & Watch LCD would have worked. So the only thing that you would have had jumping around the screen on an old uh, Game & Watch would just be that single black kind of uh, sprite, and it would actually just be programmed to appear in, I don't know, maybe 10, 15, 20 places on the screen. So as you moved it about, you, you were kind of moving around something and then there was just the overlay which was which was that which was kind of overlaid on the screen so nothing else moved other than your your sprity man um, so anyway let's get this box open there's no further stickerage to look at but it's quite a second it's just a nice little nostalgic little thing I, I do like these I do like these sort of things as I say I mean it's not something that's going to get played on a lot but um, it's just just something for the display cabinet and 
first thing we have is, would you believe it, a Game & Watch with a USB-C cable. Sweet. So I assume that means that uh, it's got an internal battery. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look what it's got. Uh, to use this system, you'll need a USB-C adapter. So there may not even be any bloody charge in it. Uh, and we've got Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, which is Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, Ball, and Time. Now, I'm guessing that's just a clock. I have seen uh, a couple of people on eBay selling 3D printed kind of docks for this little thing. So I wonder if some people are probably using it as a, um, as a bedside clock. Clock. I said clock. I know we've already had ball, but I definitely said clock. Uh, I mean, how big a set of instructions do you need for something like this? Uh, anyway, so uh, plug it in to charge it. Gobs good. Press A, press B, press up and down and left and right. Happy days. And here we go. Ooh. No, it's really very nostalgic, I must say. It's just something that's quite, quite kind of, I want to say the word cute, but you know, come on. That's just pretty cool. I like that. Just that red and gold with that kind of brushed aluminium. And you know that it's just a sticker. You know that if you, you know, you could peel you could peel that off if you really wanted. So the only major difference that, that comes to mind immediately is that there's just no um, kind of like little plastic uh, port for putting a watch battery type thing in. So um, all you've got is your USB-C port just there for charging. So let's see if, uh, if we've got any battery juice. Yes, we have. And it's a cool little color screen which I kind of you know partly agree with and, and partly don't you know maybe uh, maybe I'd like to see a monochrome kind of Game Boy style um, or single color LCD again but that's obviously how Nintendo chose to uh, chose to go with it I'm just looking for the specs of the screen to see what oh, that's quite a nice that's nice and sharp that until that point, I'd, I'd only looked at it in the uh, the screen of the camera. That's cool. Time. Oh, it's not 12 o'clock. It's... <laughs> I've just realised something pretty cool. So, I'm recording this on my iPhone. The... Um, the top-down view has been recorded on my iPhone and I've just realised that I can see what I'm doing on my watch. I was wondering, I kind of needed a viewfinder. Um, so obviously the screen is, is, is above me so I can't, I can't see it. So I'm just kind of almost hoping that it was... So yeah, sweet. I knew it had the facility, I just never thought to do it. What a dick. Ace. So that's uh, kind of smack in the middle of the screen. Brilliant. Uh, anyway, so it's 12.36, uh, 2.36 now. And let us set the time. 2.36. Game. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, that was actually quite it's quite a nice little screen that well shit <laughs> I died at the first toadstool all right let's have a look at Mario Brothers 2 
I seem to remember this game being a little bit easier than Mario Brothers, the original. Oh shit. it was easier it isn't <laughs> right let's have a look at ball game a or game b let's go game a uh, oh my word this is like a juggling simulator ball is a juggling simulator Why would you want a, ju a juggling game? All right, come on then. Come on, Mario. Come on, Mazza. What can we do here? Oh, 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 I see. It's quite devious. The, the ball moves just at the last second. Oh, yeah. 31. Smashing it. Smashing it. What's game B? Game B is even harder because you've got three balls. You've got three balls to contend with, people. And I, I mean, I contended for about a second. Let's try game B again. Three balls. This is complicated, Mario. This is, uh, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? it uh, it's not going to, you know, it's not going to be winning any awards for, for bestest console. But is it just a nice little thing to have? I mean, in fairness, you know, 50 quid off of, off of the internet. It's just a nice little thing to have on your shelf. Uh, I paid far more for this in fairness but you can pick up you can pick up a, a game boy or a game boy advance in fact why didn't i get my game boy advance out i'll get my game boy advance no no no, no screw it um i'm i'm hoping that because it's got that little usb c port there that the gaming community are going to get hold of it or maybe even nintendo themselves and release more games um nes games whatever because it's it's a nice little thing to hold in your hand it's the screen the screen is really lovely the, sc the screen is excellent um would i recommend it to anybody that wants uh, the you know the latest and greatest um games console you know no uh, absolutely not but as i say I, I think it's just one of those little pieces just one of those products that you you just have on your shelf alongside all of your other boxed games consoles that you barely barely touch um but anyway yeah i'm 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 pleased to have pleased to have picked one up it's kind of um it's kind of cool it did make me sit and look at ebay and find out what other uh game and watches that um that i could potentially pick up but i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna go down that road at this at this stage of, of buying old uh, game on watch uh, games uh, well anyway um, that was my look unboxing and look at the game and watch uh, nintendo uh, super mario brothers and ball uh, console like i say it's pretty cool it's just just a little bit of nostalgia and a, and a christmas perfect little christmas present uh, to myself or an early christmas present to myself um but anyway thanks for watching and uh please do give us a like and a subscribe and hopefully i'll see you on the next video retro unboxing